Hey guys, Kara here and welcome back to my channel and today we're on season 1 episode 8 of The Last of Us. So let's roll that intro and get straight into it. Looks beautiful. Revelation 21. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God. The ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. Is this a present? Is this a different area? How much do we have left? Venison. Maybe a week. Two at best. That ain't good. Josiah and Martin think they spotted some deer the other night. But I need to know you're with me. Yeah. He did swallow then. I'm just saying. Spotted that. Yep, that's infected right there. Ellie, you need to get help here now. Have you not got your smaller gun with you as well? Oh. Oh, that is a face plant and a half right there. Look at her little chapped face. I mean, that sounded a bit bigger. No? Definitely bigger than a rabbit. Everything that he's taught you, you've got this. Oh no. Uh-oh. I'm from a large group, too. Also hungry. We're not asking for charity. We we can trade you. Maybe maybe they can help with Joel? He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring back two bottles and a syringe. It's not code, James. Do as I said. They need this deer. They need this freaking deer. I have some oil and matches in my pack. We could take shelter, start a fire. Bring him with us. Better than a CGI deer. Before that, I was a teacher. Math. Taught kids about your age. So you went from teacher to preacher because what, it fucking rhymes? Yeah, exactly. As I really. Well, I found God. But when the Pittsburgh QZ fell in 17, Fireflies and Fedra. Okay. I left with a few others, and that's how I ended up with our flock. Well, your luck had to run out sooner or later. Hmm? Luck? No such thing as luck. I believe everything happens for a reason. It does. I can prove it to you. Okay. I sent four of our people to a nearby town to to scavenge what they could, and only three of them came back. I'm guessing it was the fat. Yep. He was murdered by this crazy man. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. I was a bit slow on that one. James, lower the gun. She is the one who killed Alec, isn't she? I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. Like take the take the deer, just have it. <sighs> Bloody hell. Oh, yeah, the fuck do I put this job? <sighs> Directly in the wound. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> so is she going to go back there? Are they good people? I mean, they did just sort of attack first, right? If memory serves. They've got deer soup for tea. But they all look like they're struggling. Every single one of them. If you've heard a rumour... Yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. We'll follow it to wherever they're hiding. You should kill both of them. <laughs> Slap her to the ground and then give her your hand. What? This is a group you don't want to be in. What, he gets a bigger plate than the rest of them? Are these going to be... Are they eating her father there? Was it not actually venison? 
looks a little better. Green puss in anima. Listen to what nature's telling you. This ain't good. This is not good. Joel, Joel, wake up. Joel, wake the fuck up. I'm trying to lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Oh, no. Man, why always the horses? Do it. They wanted to kill her, and he's saying no. They all look like they're against him. Two of you with me. Drag the horse. The rest of you, stay here, go door to door. You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. I don't know what to make of him. This dude's gonna die, isn't he? Joel gonna kill him? This is the one. Oh, we managed to move. <laughs> Lovely. Right, so they've put her in a cell. You can't survive on your own. No one can. But I can help you. If you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. Oh, this is not good. Uh, this guy is gonna die next, I think. Timothy. Timothy. Shit. <sighs> oh. You focus right here, or I'll pop your fucking kneecap off. Where? Oh, fine, fine. Okay. <laughs> well, I'd be screwed if yeah I was held at knife point like that because I can't read a bloody map. Save me life. You motherfucker! Fuck you! I ain't telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No. <laughs> <sighs> That's dark. What's she seeing? I was right. I did not want to be right, but I was right. Didn't he take another man's life to save yours? He was defending you, but you knew that. Don't let him get in your head. I let you out of that cage right now? It just took me in a second. You have a violent heart. I've always had a violent heart. And then you turn to Jesus. Does he like your violent heart? But then the world ended and I was shown the truth. So he was vicious and then he saw Jesus. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep and all I want is an equal. Who freaking who? David. Maybe don't eat your friends and then you'll be all right. This guy is a grown man and he's talking to a teenager. Think of what we could do together. Listen to your gut here, Ellie. She playing along. She's gonna tell him to eat shit again, isn't she? I'll pull him in and smack his head against the bat. There, there we go. Oh, bugger me. I kind of felt that. Cunt. The hard C word. Disgusting. Let's see what I go tell the others now. Joel, come on now. Come on now, Joel. <sighs> he is not in a fit state to be saving her right now either. He has no colouring in his face. Please don't do it! Please don't! You had your chance! No! I'm infected! Look at it. Look at it! <gasps> oh, shit! Do not stop running, Ellie. Do not stop running. You threw it too soon. I mean, I guess the place is going to set alight, but. I thought she was going to, like, stab it in his chin or something. 
You don't know what I could have given you if you would just let me. Come on, Joel, see the fire, see the fire, Joel. Neither one of us is dying today. I think you are, my guy. <laughs> oh, sugar. I thought you already knew. <laughs> the fighting is the part I like the most. This is so messed up. <laughs> Go on, Gail. Oh, okay, Ellie. Okay, Ellie. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Ellie, please. Ellie. Oh my god, she's still going. She's still going. Needs to get out of that building. No! Get out of me! Get out! Get out! It's me. It's me. It's okay, baby girl. Well, I nearly went the whole episode without crying. Nearly. <laughs> what an episode. Holy. I mean, there's always got to be one group of psychopaths, and I guess we've seen ours now. There was, like, moments where, you know, I, I thought, is this guy good? And then, obviously, we saw the flashes of all the, oh, all the terrible things, and then it was pretty clear. Um, but at the beginning, when he's talking, just one-on-one -on -one over that fire i was like maybe this guy's just you know got a group of people and they're, they're just trying their best <laughs> i was such an idiot the way that he smacked the young girl and everyone just allowing that to happen that was a pretty strong sign that we we were in trouble uh and then when the woman like the mother was saying and the guy brought all that meat in it in a tray what is this and him saying uh venison <laughs> i was like this this dude's just brought in human meat and the fact that when they were looking around they were all really pale uh they all looked just desperate you know just really struggling and whenever we've watched tv shows where they talk about like cannibalism and stuff they're always you know dark eyes uh, a bit gaunt looking you know when they fought in the previous episode where he got stabbed with the bat they never had guns they had weapons but no guns and they and they struck they they fought to me that seemed more like um like scavengers you know like just looking around just trying to get whatever they could to take back the thing is now that group of people are still there they're still there they didn't kill them all not a lot of them knew that they were eating human meat but i would be intrigued to know if anyone that knew was still alive i mean there is that barn with the dead bodies just hanging so i'm sure someone's gonna find that I don't know, it's just it's such a dark episode, but a really strong one. It's mad as well, because we didn't actually see any infected in this. You'd think that we'd see way more, but really it's just focusing on people being the scary thing, which I kind of love, but also it is about the infected and the clickers and the blowers and everything so i would like to see a little bit more of that but i do think it's amazing when they focus on the people and them being a danger because it's so true they they don't only have to worry about infected getting you the people and the things that they will do in this world that is one to watch as well They've just got to worry about everyone, literally everyone. I just, this this episode really engaged me from start to finish. Seeing Joel struggling, seeing him, you know, slowly come around after Ellie did whatever she could to get that medicine and 
just winging it because she didn't have a freaking clue she's just like uh this and just stabs him with a bunch of penicillin seeing that sort of progress and like you sh you saw his strength again even more so in this the thought of them having ellie is what pushed him when he said i got you baby girl all my days that was a powerful line right there and i'm so glad that that david character was killed in a real vicious way it does hurt my soul a little bit to see ellie doing that sort of kill and also i have to wrap my head around the way that she has been brought up isn't your traditional upbringing she's had to fight always and she's seen things that people wouldn't normally see and done things that people wouldn't normally do so it's not like your typical situation i just i want her to be protected but in this world it's gonna be hard and she's gonna be doing things that she doesn't want to do i just hope that we see some good people as well i think we did with tommy's group i think they are good people but again, I don't know. And like they say, you not be careful who you trust. Because those that you trust can hurt you. I mean, anyone can hurt you, I guess. But it stings more so if you trust them first, you know. If people turn on you. But Ellie and Joel, what a, what a friendship, man. It's come a long way very quickly. And oh, I just loved that episode. It was dark. But I loved it. It was really, really engaging. And we had a lot of losses in this one as well. The horse, rip. The deer, rip. All of those people being eaten, rip. David in the fire, rip. His second commands, Ellie with the, what is it even called? Right to the, right to the throat though. Joel with a knife to the neck of that other guy, then through the chest beat the guy over the head with a bat it was just all going on very graphic episode really graphic where do i think this one's gonna go next though like where is it gonna go from here my guess is that they're gonna need a little bit more medicine and a lot more rest for joel he doesn't pull his stitches he's in no fit state right now they need to pull up somewhere and just get some rest Preferably around food or some deer, rabbits, you know, game of some kind. Uh, and then they had to go and see where these doctors were going, I guess. It's, I can't wait. I, this show is so good. It's so freaking good. It's captivating. And I think that the actual story is brilliant. The acting is fantastic. And I just can't wait to see where they take it. I really can. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you could be so kind. But as always, there's no pressure here. I just love to have you. And I hope to see you for the next one. Bye, guys. I know it's time for a comment from the doubt pack. And today, from my 106 reaction, was it? Uh, Liam says, I believe the dog could sense something. That's why it's. It was hesitant, but maybe it sensed the immunity or at least something different. And I hope you enjoy episode seven and eight. It's going to be interesting and you're almost at the end. And I can confirm that seven and eight was fantastic. At seven for different reasons. Seven had a lot more heart to it, but a bit more backstory to Ellie, which I always loved. And the relationship with her and Riley was fantastic. And eight, it was more so like the intensity factor was there. We had a lot of action in episode eight uh, and some creepy, creepy dudes. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed seven and eight and I'm excited to see where they take this now. How many episodes? I can't remember now. Uh, let me know in the comments though. Um, but yeah, you said we're almost at the end, so it's gonna, it's gonna get good. Thank you so much, Liam, for watching my video and for leaving your lovely comment. And don't forget, guys, if you want to see one of your comments at the end of my videos, don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. And maybe yours will be next. But until next time, goodbye for now.